It's not five on one, boys. It sounds like it's about 15,000 against five right now. There's no threat to you here, Kevin. No threat at all. I'm just here to talk. You want to have a chair? You want to have it in your hands? I'm going to walk through these ropes. You want to bash me in the head with it? Go ahead. Just here to talk. Did you drink out of it? Good. It's a hell of a match. I've always loved Boston. This is a great place, Ted. I've been here a million times. Magic happens in this building, right here in Boston. Tonight's no different, Kev. Tonight we got the opportunity to make some magic. You know why I'm here? I have a soft spot for Seth Rollins. I like him. He's passionate. He wears his passion on his sleeve. I like that. I admit it. I've got a soft spot. But you're different. You are different. You are a different breed. You are the guy that when I brought you to NXT, you would turn on your own best friend to win the NXT championship. And then you had the guts to take that championship, walk down the aisle of Monday Night Raw with that title in your hands, walk straight up to John Cena and pick a fight. And before that night was over, John Cena would leave that arena in an ambulance and you would stand right here with your foot on top of Cena's US Championship and the NXT title held above your head. You, you maybe more than anybody put NXT on the map. You maybe more than anybody legitimized NXT. And then, and then you were taken. You didn't ask to leave. My guess, you didn't want to leave. But you were taken. You were taken by people that didn't understand until they had you that they didn't actually want you. Because you were too talented, because you were too smart, and because you didn't fit the mold. So they told you over and over again they didn't want you. Kurt Angle fired you. Shane McMahon fired you. They looked you in the eye and they told you over and over again, you don't belong here. But I know where you do belong, Kev. I know where you belong because I see it in you when I look in your eyes. I see everything you say you are. I see the guy that has one of the smartest in-ring IQs I've ever seen. I see a guy that is every bit as good as he thinks he is and says he is. And I see a guy that doesn't fit the damn mold and I love it. You 
look at those guys, right? So you're questioning it, why are they here? It's not an ultimatum, Kev. You know how I work and that isn't what this is. They are just here to ensure that you and I can have this conversation. Nothing more. They're not here to attack you. They're not here to give you an ultimatum. But isn't it ironic that these guys came all the way here for you? They came all the way here so we could have a conversation. But yet everybody in the back, your teammates, your teammates are in that back right now and they think what you do that maybe these guys are here to attack you. And are any of them coming out here to help you? No. You know why? Because they don't give a damn about you, Kevin. They don't give a damn about you. But that's only half of it, Kev. The other half of why they're not out here is because they know if they walk down that ramp, they're going to get their asses handed to them right now. show with multiple cameras so we have all the stuff you didn't see on TV everything uh, be sure to subscribe the links are going to be in the bio if you watch on Instagram if you watch on Twitch wherever it may be uh, enjoy it we get some really good coverage you guys have a good night I need to uh, go get the footage ready for you guys